Evaluating a quadratic expression with integers, we're asked to evaluate the expression below when y equals negative 4. So there's a couple of different places in the expression where we see a y. So we're going to do substitution. We're going to replace those y's, both of them, with negative 4. But I want to be careful, especially since in this example we're given a negative number. I want to make sure that I substitute in so that I don't uh, make any mistakes with those signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the y, but I'm going to put it in parentheses. I'm going to replace the first one with negative 4, so that would be negative 4 squared. And then I'm going to replace the second one also with negative 4, but I'm going to put it in parentheses. And then we have plus 1. So the advantage of using those parentheses is it really helps me uh, with the signs because now for the very first expression this one here in the front which following the order of operations I'm supposed to do the exponents first whenever I do that I can see that that is actually negative 4 squared which is negative 4 times negative 4 or a positive 16 so that term becomes positive 16. The next is a 5 times negative 4. So 5 times negative 4 gives me a negative 20. And then I'll just bring down that plus 1. So last I just need to add and subtract these terms. The first two positive 16 plus a negative 20. When the signs are different, we're supposed to subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So if I subtract, I get 4. Keep the sign of the larger makes that a negative 4. And then still bringing down that plus 1. Gives me a negative 4 plus 1. Again, the signs are different, so I subtract and keep the sign of the larger negative 3 so our final answer here is negative 3